Yo, what is up guys? So for today we're gonna be talking about Destiny 2, not specifically, we're gonna be looking at Salvager Salvo. We're finally gonna do the review for it. Not only the review, but I'm gonna tell you how to get the weapon, how to get the ornaments, and basically my final thoughts and what I think is gonna be good for it. So, let's talk about Salvager Salvo. In order to get this, you're gonna have to go to Banshee. Banshee's gonna give you a quest called Pull Pins and Fragmentation. Basically saying that you have to complete a combination of 120 Strike, Crucible, and Gambit matches. Nightfall, com Nightfall completions, Crucible wins, and Gambit wins grant more progress. Essentially, Nightfall, Crucible, and Gambit, all of those will grant you, what is it, the most progress, which means you only have to do like 40 of them if I remember correctly. So, I mean, Nightfalls seem like the most logical thing to do, especially since they're really simple to do. So I would recommend you just to do that. Uh, you could do Crucible or Gambit. I just, it's gonna be faster just to do Nightfalls. And the last one is earn 7,500 points by defeating enemies, grenade and grenade launcher, final blows grant significant bonus progress. This one seems crazy, but it's actually really simple considering that you can go with a, with a full grenade loadout. And I know most people are gonna be like that. You can't do that. Yeah, you actually can if you, really want to complete this as fast as possible the way i did it was actually have mountaintop on the first one and then fighting lion on the energy slot and then just a regular heavy grenade launcher at the end uh remember that there's also like exotic grenade launchers so if you really want you can use the colony you can use anarchy you can use wither horde there's a bunch of stuff that you can use but that's the that's the loadout that I was using so that way I can just get this weapon as fast as I could and once you get the weapon that's after you do that that's really it like you get the weapon it's really good I'm a big fan of it mostly because the perks are really good so let's talk about let's look at the weapon itself so here's the weapon I love this weapon it's one of my favorite weapons currently because this this is easily replacing my mountaintop which is something we needed. I definitely love Mountaintop and it was really good for PvE. It was horrible in PvP as in like it was just toxic, but this weapon is definitely fire. So let's look at the perks real quick. Quick launch uh, basically increases handling and increases projectile speed. Spike grenades, you all should know what this does, but it essentially increases your stability and does bonus damage on direct hits on the enemy. And then for the changes, Ambitious Assassin overflows the magazine based on the number of rapid kills before reloading. I love this perk, it's great. Demolitionist, kills with this we weapon generate grenade energy, activating your grenade ability reloads this weapon from reserves. Remember that this actually got nerfed, so now it has a delayed or timed uh, between reloads. So just be aware of that. And then Vorpal Weapon, increased damage against bosses, vehicles, and grenade or guardians with their super active. Last but not least, Chain Reaction. Each final blow with this weapon creates an elemental damage explosion. And then it's a lightweight frame, one shot handled as, uh, you, know, you know, you basically know. So, this is one of, easily one of my favorite weapons right now because of how simple it is. Every grenade launcher is the same. Why is this any different? Mostly because it has spike grenades plus vorpal weapon plus uh, ambitious assassin at least i like it in pve now i'm not saying these two are bad if anything i love these two as well it's just that with these two especially when you're doing like high-end activities for example the prophecy dungeon this was e this was the thing that i should replace my recluse and mountaintop combination with uh salvager salvo was was the one that i replaced with mountaintop and for my recluse i ended up using my extra extraordinary rendition which i still don't even have the role that i want i want overflow with rampage so once i get that it's easily like that's it i'm done and i, I gotta tell you guys it's one of my favorite weapons because of just how good it is uh, obviously i have gameplay of my prophecy run right now and i could easily and i mean this i could easily run this like let's say i could really just do this one for when i'm doing ad clears and maybe demolitionist but i don't really use my grenade that much so probably not but these two easily would have been just pulling in so much work because chain reaction would have been able to kill a lot more plus uh, ambitious assassin i would just immediately start just shooting everything this is the cool thing is the fact that i can actually switch my perks 
and they really synergize really well. So let's talk about the neg the negative thing. One of the only negative things about this weapon is the actual skins from it. So if you guys remember my beloved, not beloved, adored review, I said that the skins were pretty garbage. This one is not as bad only because the color differences are actually different. Thank God, like the whole weapon itself is different colors, not just one color. And then like a strip of things different. So this is how it looks base color. Uh, let's actually do this. So that's how it looks just base. I, I'm not a fan of it, but I don't really I like, I don't care to be quite honest. This is how the crucible one looks. This is how the Gambit one looks, and this is how the Vanguard one looks. Now, if we put a shader on it, let's put let's put this one because it has a lot of different colors. So, this is how oh, that looks cool. Fuck, did I just find a new favorite shader? Jesus, that looks cool. Uh, this is the the uh, Crucible one. This is the Gambit one. Does not look good. And then this is the Vanguard one. So it doesn't change everything as like I me personally, if you want to ask, like, what would be your like your dream, your fever dream changes? It would be like like you see the Phoenix. Oh, you can't see the Phoenix there, but there's usually a Phoenix right here. I would love it if you just added some Phoenix things to it, like, let's say wings on here or like wings on the sides and then like a beak at the end i don't fucking know obviously i'm just shooting ideas but for here a snake for the mouth would be dope uh scales actual scales would be fire for the vanguard one i don't know what, what does vanguard like make it vanguardy i don't know so that's the only negative thing i really have to say about this weapon itself is the fact that like the the changes aren't that great in my opinion but at this point, it doesn't matter. This is the best we'll ever get, so fuck it. Why, why even be mad about it? But while we're on the subject of these ornaments, let me show you how you guys can get them. So first and foremost, if you are trying to get the Vanguard one, you will have to get, well, obviously you have to talk to each respective person. So for Vanguard, you have to speak to Zavala. Zavala will give you Strike Salvager, which basically means you have to get Grenade Launcher, kills and points and Run playlist strikes and deal grenade launcher fire final blows bonus progression for rapidly defeating combatants and defeating them in nightfall the ordeal. So obviously doing them in the nightfall ordeal is going to be a lot faster. So I recommend you do that for crucible. You have to speak to Shax. He will give you the crucible salvager, which basically is get 30 kills with a grenade launcher and reach uh, six valor ranks gain gain valor ranks and get grenade launcher final blows rapidly defeating opponents grants the most efficient progress and last but not least for gambit you have to speak to drifter drifter will give you the gambit salvager which basically means uh get 100 grenade launcher kills and you have to bank a certain amount of moats bank moats and deal grenade launcher final blows bonus progress for rapidly defeating targets so these are not that hard i think gambit salvager was the only one that really took me the longest mostly because I kept forgetting to put on a grenade launcher, but other than that, these are really simple. The Vanguard and Crucible one, I finished like, I think that week and then Gambit, I think I finished like a week or two weeks ago. So, uh, your experience may vary, but honestly, I could, I like the, this weapon's not going anywhere because the seasons are staying. So if you want to like take your time with the skins. By all means, there's nothing really stopping you from doing that. The only thing I would recommend is to remind yourself not to forget because you might forget and then you might not get the skin and for whatever reason, you might regret it. So that's pretty much it. Let's talk about where this weapon is going to shine. So obviously this weapon is pretty much going to be your all rounder. You can pretty much use it anywhere. It has perks for PVP and PVE. And one of the things I've been using it the most is for high end activities. Like I said, I used it in prophecy and was just blown away because it was just so simple to use and it was a lot of fun. I can't remember that much fun I've had in, in prophecy considering prophecy is horrible. I hate it. Uh, I hate doing it solo. Let's say that uh, doing it solo is annoying, uh, but with with this weapon, it just felt so much fun to do it again. 
because it felt like I was, I was kind of learning it. Because Savage or Salvo, it's not like Mountaintop. Mountaintop has a uh, the the perk where you can just shoot something and it goes forever. Savage or Salvo doesn't have that. You have to get used to the dip. So for me, I like I said, I don't use a lot of grenade launchers. So for me, I had to get reacquainted with the dip because again, I don't use a lot of grenade launchers. I'm not a I'm not a big fan of them in PvP. I uh, in PVE I use pretty much anything else. So it would felt really good to play this with, with this weapon type that I usually don't play with a lot. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below guys i am i'm like in love with this weapon right now i highly recommend you get this because it's a lot of fun it will do work for you and in pvp it's obnoxious as fuck but again it's a lot of fun so be safe guys you know what's happening in the world if you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets links are in the description below i thank you everyone for coming up to this point because uh usually with youtube algorithms and whatnot people just click on how to do the stuff and then dip out so i uh, thank you guys for coming up to this point and i'll see you guys later